Oxygen heart lungs, blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs, blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Hi boys and girls, and welcome to PE with Miss McGill. Now, this doesn't exactly look like me, but it'll do for now. Now, I've decided to call you guys exercisers because, let's face it, when you're with me, you are exercisers. You're exercising your body and your mind. Get ready for week nine because it's going to be a very fun, exciting, and interesting week of learning. So come and join me with anybody that you'd like in your family, in your house, even grandpa. Previous teaching point. Previous teaching point. You know, what we learned last week. The difference between a muscle and a joint. And selecting an appropriate stretch for a particular activity. Connection. Now that we know how to select appropriate stretches for particular activities, we're going to be much more prepared to move and exercise. But have you ever thought about how we can do this? How are we able to exercise? This week, I'm going to teach you about how our body is able to do that. Our current group goal is learning the relationship between the heart, blood, muscles, lungs, and oxygen during physical activity, and how to roll a ball for accuracy towards a target. Teaching point. This week, before we warm up our bodies, we're going to exercise our minds. Exercisers, today I want to teach you about how we're able to exercise through the relationship between the heart, lungs, muscles, blood, and oxygen during physical activity. First, we breathe in oxygen, also known as air through our nose and mouth. Say oxygen with me three times. Ready, go. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Second, lungs bring oxygen into the body. Say lungs with me three times. Ready, go. Lungs, lungs, lungs. Third, the heart pumps the blood. Say heart with me three times. Ready, go. Heart, heart, heart. Step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. Say blood with me three times. Ready, go. Blood, blood, blood. Step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Say muscles with me three times. Ready, go. Muscles, muscles, muscles. And now, it's time to play a new game. The funnest game in the whole world and maybe even in outer space and stuff. Called Matchy Matchy Matchmaker. You will have to match the picture to the correct step. Does the picture on top match step five? Blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Or step one, we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth. Correct match is step one. We breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth. Yay! Does this picture match step three? Heart pumps the blood. Or step two? Lungs bring oxygen into the body. The correct match is step two. Lungs bring oxygen into the body. Here you can see the arrows that represent oxygen being brought into the body by the lungs. Does this picture match step three? Heart pumps the blood 
or step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. The correct match is step three, heart pumps the blood. Does the picture match step one, we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth, or step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells? The correct match is step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. Yay! Does the picture match step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels, or step two, lungs bring oxygen into the body. The correct match is step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Now it's time to stand up and warm up our muscles.
shoulder stretch. Tricep stretch. Behind the back shoulder stretch. Oblique stretch. Trapezius stretch. <laughs> Neck extensor stretch. Neck roll. Quad stretch. Spider-Man stretch. And now it's time for the PPC. That stands for planks, push-ups, and curl-ups. Go ahead and get into position now with your back flat, no booty mountain, and no booty valley. Now what is your plank goal today? Make sure your goal for today is either the same as yesterday or one second longer. The timer will be going all the way to 60 seconds for planks. Ready? Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60.
We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. What is your curl up goal? While we get into position, I want you thinking about what your curl up goal is for today. We're going to start by sitting down on our bottoms. Then we're going to put our feet flat on the ground. We can use someone to hold our feet down if it's really tough for us to come up like this. Then we go feet flat, hands flat, and our knees to the sky. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Four. Up. Down. Five. Up. Down. Six. Up. Down. Seven. Up. Down. Eight. Up. Down, nine, up, down, ten, up, down, eleven, up, down, twelve. To begin, select a target that's large. Mm, that's gonna be in the way. Much better. So here's my first large target. There are four parts to rolling a ball towards a target. Number one, body facing the target. Number two, feet shoulder width apart. I need to switch up the ball. Number three, step back, step roll. Step back, step roll. Number four, keep your arm in line with the target. Now let's practice step back, step roll together five times. Ready, go. Step back, step roll. 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 Today I'm going to give you five minutes again to practice your step back, step roll, step back, step roll, step back, step roll. For a tougher challenge today, use a smaller target.
Thank you. 